I've said it once and I'll say it again. The ocean is scary, but lakes are scarier. But I finally decided to look into my home state's Lake Tahoe for the first time in honor of our Halloween YouTube video dropping this week, which is on another lake. So here are some creepy truths about my home state's lake. Just the nature of Lake Tahoe is eerie in and of itself. It is 1600 feet deep making it the second deepest lake after Crater Lake. And its depth is precisely what is so creepy about it. You may have heard the infamous story of Jacques Cousteau diving into Lake Tahoe and saying that the world isn't ready for what's down there, which apparently were hundreds of preserved bodies at the bottom of Lake Tahoe. This story is like two truths and a lie. The lie is that Jacques Cousteau never dove in Lake Tahoe, but the preserved bodies that is another story. Lake Tahoe is basically one giant freezer sitting at 39 degrees Fahrenheit. That is cold enough to prevent decomposition bacteria. It's also lower oxygen at depth, which means slower decomp. Very few bottom dwelling fish or organisms, so very little scavenging bodies. Plus it gets darker the deeper you go, so the bodies are protected from sun damage. This all adds up to bodies that remain perfectly intact for decades, possibly centuries. The body the body that made headlines in 2011 was Donald Winbecker, who disappeared while scuba diving in 1994. He was found by a rescue diver 17 years later at 265 feet deep, perfectly preserved, still in his wetsuit, skin intact. So much so that the coroner thought he was recently deceased. And Winbecker is not the only one. Keith Cormican has raised 32 bodies since 2021 from Lake Tahoe with more bodies still pending. One theory for Winbecker's disappearance is something called nitrogen narcosis, aka the rapture of the deep. It's a temporary mental and physical impairment where a diver breathes compressed gas at depths. Apparently there was a disturbing case in 2002 where a diver disappeared at 180 feet. The dive computer was recovered and showed that the diver descended rapidly to 240 feet. But after that, the readings just stopped. The body was never found and they never figured out an explanation for the rapid descent. However, I couldn't find any verifiable sources on this, so I'm going to stamp the story as creepypasta, which is great because that is one less thing I need to be scared of. All right, that's it for me. I need to cleanse my palate with some Bob's Burgers now. And don't forget, we're capping off Spooky Science series with our Halloween YouTube episode dropping on October 30th. You don't want to miss that.